Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Another beer that I got from Tavor, Pfrem, or just Frem or Freem, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Bourbon Barrel Barley Wine Ale, humbly offered. 2023 vintage, bottled on August 11th of last year. I got this from Tavor, and the label's like kind of beat up. I don't know what went through it before I got to it, but anyway. Pour it into the Spiegel stem glass and Looks like red wine there. That is, I mean, I will say that's an absolutely beautiful shade of like magenta or mahogany, maybe. I mean, it's kind of, it's mostly clear, just slightly haze to it. Doesn't hold a head and it still doesn't, although you can see, or maybe you can see, like if I swirl in the glass, like you can see the alcohol legs just sticking to the side of the glass there. Before we get into the aroma, I just wanted to get into, um, just wanted to show you the, uh, the website. This is this is this is how every brewery's website should look, like a description of the beer, of like what like the tasting notes and everything to expect, ABV, IBUs. Look, they even had the malts, the hops, the yeast. Oh, that's kind of funny. Barrels, bourbon barrels. Well, <laughs> like which distillery did they get them from? That's what I would like to know. Even like the sugars that they use. So, other breweries take note. That is an A plus website or at least web page or listing for the beer. Anyway, let's get on with it. So let's give this thing a whiff. I would say it's very fruity smelling. I'm getting, the first thing I noticed was like apples. So this is probably more like the English barley wine kind of aroma or style. Yeah, it's like caramel covered apples and definitely getting some kind of uh, confectionery note on there. Yeah, I would say caramel, maybe a little toffee. Also getting like a lot of cherry. Has, actually, it kind of has like a fruit punch or a sangria kind of aroma to it. It doesn't smell like a strong beer at all to me, which could be a good thing or could be a bad thing. I am rambling. Let's dive in here. Cheers. Hmm. I would probably say this is closer to like the English barley wine kind of style. For a lot of reasons, um, I'm getting like that typical. I mean, you ever had J.W. Lee's? That is the English barley wine, at least in my opinion. And this is a lot like that, except um, take J.W. Lee's and bourbon barrel age. That's kind of what you get here. Yeah, it is quite sweet, quite fruity. Uh, kind of what I said on the nose, like on the nose, I was like, you know, kind of smells like fruit punch or sangria. The taste is like nothing like it's not as light as like those kind of things. It's like just like it's very syrupy i will say it's in both texture and in flavor so very sweet i don't know if it goes as far as say decadent and i certainly wouldn't say cloying at least not at least not right now um but yeah it's strong strongly flavored i can get the the bourbon barrel character on there so you know just kind of summarize a lot going on here so i would say like probably like a red apple and cherry seem to be like the two most prominent fruity multi flavors, but at the same time also a caramel or toffee or maybe you treacle, but not like sugary syrupy, like more like refined. I said this was barrel aged for ten months. That seems to be a pretty good, you know, time to like really pick up on the barrel aging. Um, the alcohol is very smooth on this. It is, I can barely, I mean, I can feel it, but I can barely feel it. I might even say that, like there's a little bit of honey as well. Hmm. Yeah, this is really sweet. I will say like, you know, as tasty as this is, it has a few flaws. First of all, next to no hop character in here, which is really disappointing. Like even the English barley wines have a little bit of hop character to them, unless they're like super, super old. And this, this bottle is like only, so it was bottled in August. So what, like, yeah, it's about six, seven months old. And it was in barrels for 10 months before that. So, you know, so the brew itself is probably about a year and a half old. So, I mean, I guess I could kind of understand the hops dropping out, but I would like, you know, especially coming from an American brewery, I would, and they're not really marketing, like it doesn't say English style on here, at least not in big letters. And actually on the back here, but they don't mention English style either. So, you know, this is kind of night and day to, compared to like Bigfoot 
or um, you know one of the other big American like something from Stone Old Guardian or something like that. The more I drink it, the more that I find that the bourbon barrel character is like kind of dominating over that base barley wine brew. So, you know, kind of I've been comparing to J.W. Lee's, but I would say I I think I prefer an unadulterated J.W. Lee's, just a J.W. Lee's straight up over this one. Not to say this one's bad; it's not bad at all. You know, this is I should and I should have put it on my uh, poll for what is the best brewery in America right now. Because, like I said, beer or not beer advocate, beer connoisseur magazine. Uh, I follow them, and like anything that they review of this brewery gets like at least like a ninety-five, sometimes a straight up one hundred. And um, you know, so like they're probably making some of the best stuff in the in the country right now. And I will say, for a bourbon barrel aged English style barley wine by an American brewery, yes, this is a really, really good example. Before we get into the rating. Link in the description below for Tavor. I got this for, I think it was $12 for this bottle, which is not bad considering, you know, it came all the way from the West Coast and, you know, it's kind of a highly sought after beer. So if you want to use my code, I would really appreciate it. I think, you know, if you live in a beer desert like I do, you know, like almost every can and bottle in here, except for a few, was purchased off Tavor. So, yeah, check them out. So the score for the... I still don't know how to pronounce this brewery. Freem? Freem? I always want to say Frem, or f- like phlegm, you know? Yeah, this is this is really very good, maybe even excellent, but it's not world-class. Something about it's, like, missing. I think like, maybe a little bit more carbonation would be nice. And, like I said, a little bit, a little bit more hops would be nice, but otherwise, you know, it's right there. So... I'm probably going to go, I'm thinking like eight and a half, maybe nine, somewhere around there. 8.75. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's really, really good. Uh, it's like, And it's nice to see breweries actually doing barley wines, although I'd like to see, maybe, I'm not, maybe they do actually do like just the barley wine without the bourbon barrel aging. I feel like barley wine is like a dying style. Nobody really makes it anymore unless they do a bourbon barrel age or whiskey barrel age or whatever. All right, so I am rambling. If you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for Tuesday night for your school. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 